Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got my good friend on, Mark Fiddleman. He is the author of Socialize. He's a leader in social media, very cutting edge. He has a column at Forbes. By the way, if you put in Mark Fiddleman at Forbes.com, his, uh, his uh, column pops up. And uh, love what he does. And his latest project, Rainforest, R-A-Y-N, Forest.com, I think is going to be providing a paradigm shift between the relationships of influencers and brands that I think is really incredibly exciting. And I think it, uh, it is long overdue. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we feel it's long overdue as well. It's been difficult to codify, as you can imagine, all of these learnings that we've done offline and, and apply them online. Uh, but we think, you know, out of the gate, we're going to have a pretty robust platform. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. From what I can tell, uh, it's going to really catch the attention of a lot of major players in the uh, connecting business. I think uh, uh, when I think of some of the social media uh, companies that take pride in making connections, they're going to go, dang, we should have thought of that first. Yeah. Well, so. that's that's the reaction we're hoping for. Well, I'll, I'll be surprised if you don't get that reaction. So that's kind of cool. So how will the engagements you know, actually look practicably? Can you kind of give us what you visualize, uh, how that will look on a step-by-step uh, basis? Yeah, I'll, I'll provide you two simple examples. The first one would be, let's say I want to hire you know, somebody to create a, an e-book for me. And this, uh, this e-book would be branded by the brand, whoever's hired the influencer to create this e-book. And the whole goal is to use that as a lead generation piece uh, to drive traffic to that brand's website or landing page uh, or to drive awareness about some issues that the, the brand solves. But the point is, and what's different about this, is you're using the most influential person for your target audience to write this ebook on your behalf. That has a psychological and an awareness impact on that piece of content because not only will the, that influencer's followers want to read that ebook, but having more trust with the influencer than most people have with the brands, they will trust the recommendations of the influencer in the ebook if, they, if they're, they're consistently authentic. So that, that, you know, and we've measured as a huge impact. That's just one example. It could be videos or a YouTube channel, what have you. The other that we think is going to be uh, pretty remarkable uh, and this kind of stems from what Obama did in getting reelected. Uh, I happened to interview everybody on the team. I know how they did it. We're kind of mar- you know, we're kind of copying that, but codifying it. They just all offline. That we can mobilize 50, 100, 200 people to do really anything that the brand wants. So let's say that the brand is looking to drive traffic to a new store that's just opened up. Well, you can quickly hire 100 people either to attend that store and then write about it after their experience with the store, or you can get them to promote it on social channels, wherever that store's target audience is. You can quickly mobilize 100 people that are relevant to your target audience to go solve that particular problem for, for the brand. So, for example, here in Houston, Texas, they could have uh, a new store being open. You'll connect them, uh, that store, with the influencers in this area. Yeah. Well, yes. Man, yep. that's in just that crazy. Yeah. I love that. And uh, in a much more targeted way, obviously, than press releases, because you can yes. get your attention through a channel that they'll actually be looking for. Uh, and because there is rewards uh, for those influencers, I'm sure something special will be for them for coming to that event. Yeah, I mean, it could be cash compensation. It could just be, hey, here's a badge from the store that you can put on your profile. You know, people still like badges. Whatever the brand feels is going to motivate the influencers. Yeah, there you go. I love that. How does uh, how does Rainforest get compensated? So the only way we get compensated is if the brand actually pays influencers to do something. If it's a free campaign, we'll set up, you know, just a step fee, very low setup fee, but we we will only be compensated if the brand pays money to, to the influencers. We'll take a percent of that. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. I love it, and I think it's a phenomenal idea, and uh, really delighted. Uh, it's been it's been long in the works, though. I think you and I met. Oh my goodness! It had to be in middle of last year. It's been about probably a little over a year now. Uh, you know when we were when we were connected, and uh, you had already been working on this for quite a while. So how how many years have gone into this? <laughs> well, collectively, I'd say three, but the real hardcore uh, coding 
probably since October of 2012. October 2012. That's fant- yep. fantastic. And you've done such a great job, and you'll have it launched in 11 months from that right. uh, that hard beginning. I think it's great, and uh, I, I'm I'm. I, for one, look forward to see how this is spread. How are you marketing it? Obviously, you already know a lot of influencers. You you are, in fact, a great influencer in social media, so I'm sure you're leveraging a lot of that. That's how you reached out to me. Your people reached out to me. What other things are you doing? Yeah, right now we're kind of in a, a stealthy mode, except for our fr- friendlies like yourself, and uh, we want to understand out of the gate what's going to be most important to them. And once we understand that use case or a couple of use cases with brands and influencers, we're going to heavily promote them in September. But we don't, you know, we don't want to spend a lot of time and effort, you know, promoting if it's not going to resonate with our target audience. So we, we, we need to understand that first. And the way we're going to do that is by introducing to early adopters like yourself this, this platform and getting feedback. Right, and if it passes the Kevin Price test, because if he can get it, anybody can get it, then then you can let others get involved. I love that. There you go. Yeah, awesome stuff. Mark Fiddleman, great guy. Uh, check him out over there at Forbes. You can just put in markfiddleman.com or go to Rainforest, R-A-Y-N, forest.com, and uh, keep an eye on this. I think this is going to be one of those things that you said, yeah, I heard about that first time on The Price of Business, because uh, we do like to be tapped into cutting-edge technologies like this. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you, Kevin. Glad to be here. You bet. All right, when we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you the best content here. It shows up over there at usdatareview.com. While there, make sure you like it on Facebook. Follow it on Twitter. Twitter. 